Hello trainers, Ganet here, and today we're gonna dive into ULPC, my top 3 recommended teams for GBL Day. Uh, in the end, I will leave also a link for my other teams, but those three uh, really have changed my mind because uh, the meta is changing all the time. First, it was Wolverine, then Wolverine counters. Uh, in the end, we saw something like a double fire at the back, uh, so those teams are gonna encounter uh, that uh, weird uh, shift in the meta. And and I think that if you use those teams, you're gonna have some fast-paced uh, matches and perhaps wins. Uh, so with that said, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. It helps more than you could ever imagine. I will say that, but I mean it. And you know that. So uh, let's move forward now into the first team composition. Trainers, let's start with this Cavalier team with the most uh, core score at the back and you're gonna see that we have uh, a very balanced team. So this Cavalier lead is so popular that a lot of people tend to lead with uh, fire type to counter it down but a lot of fighters, a lot of wall range, a lot of other stuff exist out there in the meta. So this Cavalier can really put up the work even against a Jarner like uh, uh, Sylveon. Against the Tokis it will struggle a lot but uh, against Sylveon which is is not flying, it is just gonna dominate. So, this Cavalier League is popular and tames for steel, ice, and normal. Uh, it is just gonna farm them down, it cares about nothing and resist also the moves. Uh, Trevenant is a high DPS monster, closer, whatever you might call it. Uh, this thing is gonna do a lot of wonders with energy ahead and it can easily bait your opponent, even a whole charge that can bait it with the seed bomb and then finish it off with a shadow ball. And the shadow claw damage really adds up. Uh, Golrin is the king of the meta right now. And it will be super useful to you since ULPC uh, is shifting around that Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, any core with Trevenant the Wallen will be a success, but uh, it is kind of expected from the opponent. So this team is popular, so you might encounter some really... Um, easy counters, let's say, uh, from your opponent. So this weakness... Uh, uh, Charizard weakness is gonna be this, the only one that I'm afraid of when using this team since uh, Scavalier and Trevenant really struggle against that Pokemon but this team composition still has some play. You can see that Shadow Ball can do a lot of damage and Golden can also take it down with ease. Butlers, here we have a Crobat team composition. You can see that this is a fairly good and balanced team. We have the Galeta up front with Confusion we can easily, which can easily uh, destroy down any other fighting type in the meta. Uh, also has access to that uh, close combat so that if you encounter any weird obstacle out there yeah a close combat will just be it and most probably you're gonna get out of there with a shield advantage and uh, you also have that leaf blade for the water type so something like a swamp bird is just gonna get destroyed down or even something like a wall rain will have to shield no matter what to finish you off and that is gonna be a very good position for you since at the back you have a safe pick the snorlax and the crobat as the closer so let's talk a bit about the snorlax uh, you can use whatever move you might like on that thing but I prefer body slam and super power for the current meta uh, because it gives me more access to a wider uh, coverage uh, around my opponents uh, so you have the leak to destroy down that revenant you have the body slam to spam to whatever even against its counters and the super power to take down that wall rain uh, and finally yeah we have the closer as we said the crobat uh, which can dip off the opponent hit it hard with shadow ball which is what you're gonna see in a while <laughs> and spoiler alert uh, yeah that was pretty late uh, and yeah, Crobat is a very nice finisher for the current meta. If I was gonna pick a weakness for this team, that was gonna be that was gonna be the Alolan Mac uh, up in the lead because the confusion damage will not do much. The close combat will, but uh, yeah, Snarl Alolan Mac uh, really charges up super fast. So that's something you should be aware of. And also the leak damage from uh, that uh, Snorlax will not do much, but you still have the body slams to do some cheap damage and finish off with your Crobat. Uh, overall, this is a super balanced team and a very good one for you to uh, take uh, a hit on. For the last one trainers, we have the Sylveon Polyrath Crust line. So the back line really goes pretty well against the ice types and the fires. So you can see why this team has so much success. Also, a lot of people tend to lead with Obstagoon nowadays or a fighter up in the lead. So something like a Sylveon can be very useful to you. Uh, also, Sylveon has a lot of neutral matchups. And to be honest, with a sealed up, by sacrificing the sealed advantage, of course, you can win that lead scenario very easy. So that your back line can have a clear uh, horizon to face uh, from your opponent's team composition and Sylveon will just do the job for you. 
Uh, Crustl is amazing with SmackDown. It really gets gold by Swampert. Uh, and not only that, the fighters, but besides that, it can be really useful. Alola Mag, no problem at all. Uh, ice types like Lapras, Wolverine, yeah, it's just gonna finish them off. And something like a Charizard, please uh, get out of the way. I'm just gonna farm it down with SmackDowns. And yeah, Crustl, really good Pokemon. Also, Polyrath there, which is a, an amazing all arounder with Skull, Dynamic Punch. I already recommend to you Dynamic Punch, keep it. If you want Ice Punch, by, by all means, just do it. But Scold feels much better and much healthier against those fires that are at the back. And I really like the debuff uh, situation that I can be in. Uh, actually, my opponent, I'm just gonna throw the debuff. Uh, weakness is gonna be the Nidoqueen here. Uh, since up in the lead, you have nothing to... Uh, destroy down this team's answer to Nidoqueen is gonna be only the Polyrath but besides that I think that you're gonna have an amazing time with this team and absolutely this is gonna be the one that I'm using right now that's all trainers thank you for watching if you're staying till the end uh, it means a lot if you subscribe to the channel or give a huge thumbs up to the video if you enjoy stuff like that it really gives me the courage and the energy to do more content like this uh, to provide you more info from my experiences uh, to that community that we have built over here it can expand even even more uh, so with that said I will farewell you trainers and I hope to see you all into the next one take care everyone